Many apologies. I had to run out and get dinner for the family. And I just knocked my fries on the floor. Give me a second here. Alrighty, sorry about that. Yeah. I'll get my phone set up real quick so I can read the chat. There we go. There we go, now that looks like that's working. So, for those that haven't seen this particular braid before, it is, excuse me, essentially the same move, mirrored left and right and top and bottom for the rails. So, first side, you pass your hand through the middle, count three um, threads on the top, go up over the next three threads, go back in the middle, and down under the last three threads on the bottom, take the frontmost top one, pass it through the shed to the bottom on the other side. And then next move, you pass your hand in the middle, count three threads on the bottom, go under the next three threads on the bottom, back up in the middle, over the last three threads on the top, and you leave the last one on the bottom alone, pass the uh, sword through the shed, lift the bottom one up, pass through, and it goes up to the top on the other side. And then essentially we do the same thing on the other side. So we start with the top first, go through the middle three threads, then go over the top of the next three threads, and then under the bottom three threads on the bottom, top one gets lifted off, pass through the shed, to the bottom rail on the right side, again through the middle, Count three, go under the bottom three, go back in the middle, over the top three on the last, leave the bottom uh, last one alone, pick that one up, pass it to the shed, goes to the top on the right, and there you go. Just keep repeating that until you run out of thread. Now it's time to slide the comma forward. And on that side too. And let's roll up the braid just a little bit. There we go. Hey, Bane, nice to see you on. Sorry you missed the morning stream, though I know it was way early for you. Glad you could make the evening stream. And we're continuing on with this Takadai braid. Um, I don't think I mentioned it the last time you were on Bane, but uh, I thought the uh, extruder, or not the extruder, the, but the Y-axis stepper motor on my 3D printer had gone bad. Turns out I wasn't testing the wires on the other stepper motor long enough. So it looks like it's either a motherboard or a wiring problem. So I ordered the replacement parts for those. And they arrived today, like about an hour ago. So after this uh, stream is over, I will uh, see if I can't get my uh, 3D printer fixed. I got a upgraded motherboard, so uh, I'll have to flash it when it's done. And then rerun all the calibrations. But hopefully by tomorrow, I will be printing again. Okay. That looks right. Well, that was, I scheduled it when I did mainly so that people who are uh, 
on the uh, Pacific Rim, Australia, Japan, Korea area can be able to attend if they would like. But I figured it was a nice weekend. I was enjoying braiding, and I'd be happy to do it again. Same day. Oh, and I got approved to uh, be able to post about it on uh, Reddit, so we might get a few people from Reddit on today. And I'm only two subscriptions away from 400, so I'm in a pretty darn good mood today. Okay. Yep, okay. It's the uh, transition from uh, the blacks to the colors, um, the, <coughs> the red spectrum. So it took me a minute to realize that yes, indeed, that was what I was supposed to be doing. A little confusing when you aren't expecting it, especially when you use it as a check. I'm glad that you were able to find it, and I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Uh, I do hope Nick gets back on soon. It was fun when he was on Twitter. And the way things are going, I might actually be able to start doing... Um, I might be able to start doing the braid for him in like a week or two. We'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, at least I can now um, justify the amount of time spent on braiding, which I wasn't always able to do before. I'm also hoping that, that uh, if I do wind up with, uh, getting diagnosed with narcolepsy, they'll be able to treat it and I'll be much more active. But we'll have to see how that goes. This is a nice, simple braid. Um, once you get the pattern down, it's just making sure you don't kind of zone out and uh, road hypnosis yourself into doing the wrong move because you forgot where you were and your back brain doesn't uh, let you know, oops, you're in the wrong spot. And I like this particular color scheme because it kind of looks like comets or shooting stars on a dark night sky. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to need Pro Vigil. We'll have to see. Uh, First off, if that is the case, and second off, what they recommend. I'm not going to be asking for anything specific other than, you know, let me have some more functionality with my life and see how we get there. But yeah, if I wind up with something like that, I might actually be able to do a 12 hour braiding stream. Not sure I could manage a 24 hour one. If I'm doing a pickup braid, they take, take like about 80 hours. So I definitely won't be finishing the braid during a stream or in one stream. Well, it depends on how long I make it and how complex the pattern is.
don't think I'm doing too bad for speed. Oh, and I came up with a horrible pun the last uh, stream. I didn't even realize I'd done it until after I said it. I'd uh, started speeding up and said, now I'm braiding at warp speed. So I've been making sure to tell everybody so everybody else can suffer with me as well. So I suppose as long as I don't start braiding at WEF's speed, if I do that, we might go plaid. Though, um, as I understand it, the technical definition as to the difference between um, braiding and weaving is in weaving, the warp and the weft never exchange places, but in braiding, they do. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Unfortunately, I do have a tendency for low humor. Okay, time for the coma to go forward again. It early on the earlier stream today, but, but um, my normal Tuesday stream is going to have to be postponed. Uh, I might do a uh, Monday and Wednesday um, to make up for it, but Tuesday night or Tuesday all day, uh, since I'm a Pennsylvania constable, I have to guard the polls. So that is where I will be. And while I wouldn't mind braiding there, it's kind of uh, I would consider it minimum, it would be tacky to do it there. I guess it depends which threads you call warp and which ones you call weft. The other, uh, Thing I've heard about as far as uh, braiding on a takadai is it's kind of like weaving along the bias. But I just seem to be going at a fairly decent clip. Probably not quite ludicrous speed though. Looks like I had one jump a couple of pins. Yep, that looks like the right one. All right, and I just did that. Okay. So one of the things about this braid is it's slightly asymmetric uh, on the frame. Um, so you have two sets of 12 on one side and two sets of 11 uh, or two rails of 11 on the other. So the one you do next is the one that's 12. So three, six, nine, okay, 12. So this is the size I need to do next. And then when it's done over on here, it'll be 12 and that'll let me know to do that size. 
near those sites. If I ever lose my place, I have to figure out where I was. All righty. I actually do get paid the same as the other election workers for doing it, but uh, in Pennsylvania, constables, all the other work we do is uh, uh, fee for work. We don't get a salary or anything like that. We have to supply all our own equipment, and we're getting to the point where we're having to pay for our own training. But on the plus side, we get to pick our own equipment. Um, we're not required to use stuff that we don't like. There are pluses and minuses. Okay. Not sure how long I'm going to go tonight. Maybe an hour, maybe two. Depends on how things go. And there we go. Um. I'd have to have a legitimate enough reason uh, to pay for a flamethrower as a business expense. Um, since gardening is not my uh, uh, business as a constable or my other side business doing making uh, brain equipment and things like that, I would have a real hard time justifying on an audit. And since I'm a uh, sworn law enforcement officer, I think that would be a very bad look. So not something I'm likely to do, though I do know constables who do buy firearms uh, that they don't really need, but can you know nominally justify it, who tend to uh, do those as a business expense. I've got two different um, duty carry pistols, and those are the only ones I've uh, put on my taxes. I do do evictions, which are the uh, most dangerous thing constables do in Pennsylvania, and all of the uh, essentially on-the-job injuries and deaths have been while performing evictions, so I do try and be as careful as I can. And we're ready for the color change from top to bottom. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. And I think I just tried to do the same move twice. Let's try that again. Didn't quite succeed without errors, but looks like I got it right in the end. Yeah, um, and constables have different duties in different states. Pennsylvania, we're just like kind of in the barely law enforcement stage. We aren't allowed to do a whole lot. Well, we're actually allowed to do a lot of different things, but they tend to be like just barely in the law enforcement uh, field. 
serve warrants, do prisoner transport, serve civil process, um, do evictions, uh, do um, orders for possession or order, orders of execution where somebody has uh, won a lawsuit, they got in a judgment and the person they got it against isn't paying. We show up and try and identify property that they own and then sell it off to pay the judgment. But as of this election, I'll have been a constable for seven years. Try to do the wrong move on that side. I've seen a few episodes of Justified, but I didn't really follow the series all that closely. Uh, my wife was the main one to watch that you know, with our roommate. I occasionally caught a couple episodes, but that was about it. Did my good neighbor deed today. Neighbor across the street was uh, doing leaf blowing um, with his plug-in leaf blower. It was like barely moving the leaves. So I loaned him uh, my uh, DeWalt uh, V60 Max um, electric leaf blower, battery powered leaf blower. And he said he probably saved at least a half an hour on that job. So felt good about that. but I was impressed with it when I got it. Definitely an advantage over using a gas powered leaf blower. My hands would go numb when I used that for more than about 10 minutes. And theoretically, on Wednesday, the uh, new high-end um, 3D printer I ordered months and months ago should theoretically be shipped out. I might get it before Christmas. Okay. And the carabiner and D-ring are finally all the way off the, uh, the Tory gate here. Let's see if I can't get this straightened back up again. There we go. And... I've been uh, using pictures when I finish up with a stream uh, to make the thumbnails for the next stream. So if you look at the thumbnails, you should see roughly how far I've been getting along. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Weather luckily where I am today warmed up. It was a nice day. Didn't get too much done outside, unfortunately. Just a little too tired for it. But it does make where I am braiding kind of warm at the moment. Once winter fully kicks in, it should be nice and comfortable without having to have a fan on or anything like that. Hey, Kathleen, nice to see you. Hope you're doing okay. All righty. I don't know if you... Uh, Kathleen, I don't know if you remember Ego or not. Um, I th think you know him. Um, the lady he merchants with asked uh, if she could get some help on doing this particular braid, which is why I picked this one to do next. And since I know you're a Michael Z. Williamson fan, I figured I would mention that uh, I picked up uh, the audible version of his uh, That Was Now, This Is Then uh, a couple days ago. Haven't finished listening to it yet, but I've been enjoying what I've been hearing so far. Thank you. I'm rather pleased with it. I think the, um, the way it starts out kind of pinkish and gets to a darker red, then essentially fades to black, kind of gives it a look like it's... Uh, shooting stars or comets on a night sky. And I'm rather pleased with how it turned out. Okay. Three, six, nine. Yep, this side next. Okay. Um, since you just hopped on, um, the uh, just to run over how this braid is done, it's the same move uh, done four times, mirrored top and bottom, left and right. So you put your hand between the two um, uh, rails, count in three on the top, then go up, go up over the next three on the top, and then down underneath the last three on the bottom. Take the one from the top, pass it through the shed, goes to the bottom. Second move, start in the middle, Count three on the bottom, go under the next three on the bottom, back up in the middle, and over the last three on the top, but leave the last one on the bottom untouched, because that's the one you lift up and pass with the shed to the top on the left. And then you do that again on the left. So in the middle three, over three on the top, in the middle and under three on the, the last three on the bottom, take from the top, pass through to the bottom on the right. In the middle, under the second set of three, over the last set of three on the top, leave the bottom one end alone until you pass it to the shed and to the top on the right. And that's the braid pattern. Just keep going through until you're out of thread. So if anybody else uh, sees this, hopefully they'll be able to learn from it how they need to do it um there's 46 tama and when you start you have 11 on the left 12 on the right on each of the upper and lower rails then after the first two moves You then have 11 on the right and 12 on the left. And you just go back and forth. I'm hoping to have several Takadai's uh, done by the springtime, so that should be fun. 
I still need to make one for my wife. I promised her one like about 17 years ago and still haven't made it for her. I feel horribly embarrassed about that. Almost to the point where I start putting the uh, black threads back down on the bottom one and the red ones back on the top. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, it also doesn't help that the uh, uh, the instructions are not all that easy to read and translate into hand movements. But once you get the trick, it's actually not too hard. A lot of these, like I said, this is just four moves over and over again, just kind of mirrored top, left and right, top and bottom. Um, it's a 3-3 twill. So it's easy to check the uh, braid as you're going along and see if you've made a mistake fairly quickly. Um, so, And part of the reason I'm doing these uh, videos is to help people get comfortable with it and uh, see if it's something that they think they would like to try. Or if they're trying it and they're having problems with it, try and resolve those problems so it's a fun and pleasant experience for them as opposed to something that's just a cause of frustration. And color change. to make it through that color change without losing my place or putting it on the wrong layer. Okay. I've never actually braided on a cockadie. Um, I think I've got a fairly good idea how they're done. I just haven't actually done it. It hasn't been uh, one of the frames that uh, have really piqued my interest. I've considered uh, trying an Ayataka die, but just haven't gotten around to that one either. And it's time to move the coma forward again.
Yeah, and I've got since I've got the CNC equipment, I should be able to make the feathers fairly easily. Um, I should be able to program them and run them. Okay. Hope I'm not keeping you up too late, uh, Michael. If I understand right, it's pretty late your time zone. But I do appreciate the fact that you've been able to join in, and I hope it's been uh, a fun experience for you. The braiding is a little bit easier if I have the point of braiding a little further back than I've been keeping it. So I'm going to go another uh, coma advance before I roll it up some more. See how well that works out. Well, hopefully being Sunday uh, tomorrow for you, you don't have anything where you need to be or uh, predict, uh, make it a rough day for you tomorrow. So. That's a good tip. I will definitely keep that in mind if I do uh, use one. I can definitely see how the uh, the way it runs, the uh, Tama can easily bang up the legs pretty easily. I also need to get off my rear and make several more Mara dies. Uh, I think the streaming will be a lot more fun for people if I can rotate through various different braids uh, every stream where it's not the same one over and over again. But that's something I'll have to do a little bit down the road. I will say doing these streams have definitely refreshed my braiding skills. It's a lot uh, more comfortable doing it than when I started back up, mainly because I hadn't been doing it for a very long time. I do it a little bit, just not very regularly. So this is a nice chance to be able to get back in and do it a lot more. I also realized I've done a lot of braids, but I don't keep a lot of them. So this is going to give me a chance to build up my portfolio of uh, completed braids. Oh, to keep the thread twist? Okay. All right, that makes sense. Again, I haven't done it, but from what I have seen about how it is done, that definitely makes sense to me. I mean, there's times that, uh, I mean, these are mostly uh, pair parallel strands, but uh, they tend to like jump over the pegs. So if I could twist them where they were uh, round and not like uh, having gaps open easily, it might be easier, but also give it a different lay in the uh, braid. So not sure if that would be a net benefit, but Well, uh, Kathleen, I hope you are able to catch up soon. Um, I don't think you've been on when I've mentioned it, but I'm going to be getting a um, sleep study fairly soon to see if I have narcolepsy. Uh, a YouTuber that uh, Bane Ironhand and I uh, watch regularly um, has narcolepsy, and when he was describing how it affects his life, it's like, wow, I've been that way since, since I was 25. So finally getting around to getting a sleep study done to see if that is the case or not. And I know I've got sleep apnea, so that will probably help somewhat there too, getting a CPAP or the like. I just never had gotten around to going through the process for that either. I was also hoping to lose enough weight to where it wouldn't be an issue anymore. But apparently, 60% um, of people who have sleep apnea still have it after they lose weight. Not offering any medical advice, just discussing things I've heard. 
If you have any issues, see your doctor. I don't want to run afoul of YouTube's uh, medical misinformation. So I'm only discussing my own experiences as a layperson with no medical training whatsoever. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the microphone there. I'm going to go on mute for just a minute because I am probably going to sneeze soon. Okay, I'm back. I may still need to sneeze, but apparently not immediately. So I apologize if I don't get to the mute in time. Fortunately, this microphone is kind of nice in that you can just tap the top of it and it turns on the mute. And then tap it again to bring it back. Well, when I started this stream today, uh, or tonight, uh, I had 498 subscribers, so I was only two away from, or 398, so I was only two away from 400. So, it's getting close to, well, not close, but I'm definitely making my way to getting to 1,000 subscribers. Don't know if the microphone's picking it up, but it sounds like somebody's doing fireworks in our neighborhood. Yeah, Kathleen, that would be scary. Up until I was about 25, I used to be able to drive really long distances without any issues. And then about the time I hit 25, I just got to where I just, after about two hours, I would have to pull over and nap like every half hour just to not get too sleepy until I discovered audiobooks, which will actually keep me awake for a reasonable amount of time where I'm nice and alert and I don't feel sleepy. So... That's kind of what I've been doing with that to, when I have to drive. And I'm definitely one of the people, if I do feel sleepy, I pull over. I do not want to get an accident. Did that in New Jersey one evening. Had a uh, New Jersey straight trooper pull up and say, uh, you know, you can't sleep here. You need to go. I was able to get to a rest stop a few miles down the road, so it wasn't too bad, but that was kind of annoying. It's like you want somebody who is tired driving as opposed to taking a 15, 20-minute nap to be more alert. But 
I've never thought much of uh, New Jersey State Administration, but that's just me. As a constable, I'm supposed to be able to carry in pencil or carry in New Jersey, but I'm not going to do it. I'd win my court case, but it'd probably run me twenty, thirty thousand dollars just to prove it. And I do not need that type of expense in my life at the moment. Catching up on the chat real quick. Okay, caught up on the chat. Oop, time to move the comma forward. I don't have to do it exactly then, but once I'm on the next or the, on the last coma, I figure I might as well move it at time. It gives me a more consistent angle of attack if I don't go too far off each time. And let's roll that up just a bit more. Being a little careful with rolling up, since I fixed the Tori, I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up, and I don't want it to actually break on but it seems to be doing reasonably well. Put big lag bolts in it. Uh, speaking of knives, uh, Pennsylvania just updated their uh, laws on prohibited offensive weapons to remove automatic knives from it. Um, however, uh, I think I may have made a mistake there. Okay. Around 12. Okay. And okay, I know where I'm at now. Got lost there for a second. Sorry, I'm going to take a minute here. I was confused by the color I was saying here. I was thinking that was black. That's what threw me off. It's just a very dark reddish purple.
Let's see. One thing, though, about Pennsylvania is while they have firearms preemption where the local municipalities can't make things more restrictive than the state has it at, they don't have the same for knife laws. So since most of the municipalities have their knife laws based off what the state law used to be, it's probably going to be a while yet before you can actually uh, have those in most of the state until they get that fixed. Speaking of knife related stuff, I'm going to make a slight diversion here. Picked this up in a pawn shop about 20 years ago. Yeah, time to oil it up again. It's got some nice pattern welding in the center. Thank you for indulging me. Okay. Make sure I'm back at my starting point or where I'm supposed to be in the pattern. The uh, threads are kind of feeling like they're getting on the long side, so I'm going to not drop them for a little bit just in case they're starting to unroll on their own, which in my experience, the way I uh, use Lark's head knot tends to happen as they get less and less thread on them. And in case I haven't said it before, thanks everybody who's on the stream tonight. It's definitely making it more enjoyable. And I'm glad that uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. At least I didn't screw up uh, the stream this time. This morning when I went to start the stream, realized that I'd uh, somehow either forgotten or had clicked the wrong thing, and it was uh, a four kids stream, which means no chat. So I had to kill and uh, create a new stream just to fix that because you apparently can't edit them once you create once you've started going live on them. That was really frustrating. Speaking of games, I need to get back to playing uh, Elden Ring. Finally got good enough I could go to the uh, some of the mining locations and uh, okay I screwed that up and uh, start doing better so 
start building up my character to where he's more durable. Or she. That's a definite uh, find. I'm hopefully uh, uh, it's uh, something you enjoy, Mike. Uh, Michael, always fun finding things that are left over from previous people that are nice, as opposed to that extra bag of garbage they didn't take out when they move out, moved out. Okay. Thank you. That's very nice, Kathleen. We just hit an hour. Um, would you lovely folks like me to keep going on, or are you done for the night?
And moving the coma forward again. I also have, uh, um, since I first started doing the talk at ice streams, um, I've gotten a much higher quality camera. It's not um, really high end, but uh, it allows me to do a fixed fo focus so I can get it focused on the work and it's not auto focusing. So hopefully people can see a lot better with it. That's one of the things I've tried to improve. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm able to help with your weight loss in a uh, less uh, abrasive way than Nick uh, encourages people to lose weight. Okay. I'll keep going on for a while then because I'm enjoying it. But I'm trying to... Uh, do all my braiding on stream so people can actually see a, a whole braid from start to finish how the entire process goes For those that are not in the know, um, a YouTuber that uh, Bain and I uh, watch uh, is Nick Ricada, and people pay him to fat chain them so that they can uh, get encouraged on their weight loss. And he does not pull any punches. But he only does it to people who pay him to do it. Okay. Haven't been doing as much this stream, but one of the things I do when the chat's not all that busy is I'll uh, verbalize my mnemonic so that uh, it's not just dead air and it helps people, hopefully, which is essentially under three, over three. Whoops. Got one that jumped a bit. Let's get you back on track. There we go. And I started that one off the wrong way. So over three, under three, top to bottom, under three, over three, bottom to top. When I pause with the Tama, um, when I'm ready to pass through the shed, that's usually due to the fact that two of them have twisted together and I'm uh, pulling it gently to get them to untwist on their own. Under three, over three. And bottom to top. Have a nice one, Michael. I'm really glad you were able to come by. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll hopefully see you again soon. I'm definitely going to try and keep doing weekend streams at uh, times where it's not ridiculous for you to try and attend. Same for Diane as well. Over three. Three, under three. For some reason, I was thinking he was uh, on the Pacific Rim somewhere, but if it's uh, midnight, his time zone, um, then that means he's probably in Europe, probably France, if I remember right.
over three, under three. Under three, over three. If I'm putting the uh, name to the proper name to the proper Facebook profile, um, he is a very uh, skilled uh, uh, person on the Takadai. But I might be wrong because I am unfortunately very lousy with names. There are people that I used to work with for 20 years. I can no longer remember their name, and I only switched jobs about a year ago. <laughs> which is kind of sad, but that's just the way my mind seems to work. On the plus side, I can identify any original Star Trek, uh, the old series uh, episodes within 15 seconds of watching it from anywhere in the episode. That's a skill that has definitely served me well. Not, But that's the way my brain works. I'm not even that big of a fan of the original Star Trek series. Oh, um, speaking of uh, nice YouTube channels to follow, um, there is a 3D printer reviewing channel uh, called Aurora Tech. It's a uh, lovely young lady and her brother um, do the uh, um, do the reviews, though it's mainly her that speaks. Um, I don't really see him that much in the, uh, the video, but... Uh, if you follow up their stuff on other uh, media, he's there. And they do absolutely wonderful nuts and bolts, 3D printer uh, reviews, not a lot of fluff, lots of good information. And uh, I think the uh, channel definitely needs more subscribers. Uh, so it's Aurora Tech. If you're into 3D printing, it's definitely one to follow.
that one wrong. Yep, I did that the wrong direction. It's supposed to be over and under, not under and over. And time to move the coma. Okay, I will have to look at uh, uh, them when I have a chance, Kathleen. Yeah, Bane, it's kind of frustrating when your equipment is no longer the stuff they talk about anymore. Though I did see, uh, apparently there is a nice mod for a uh, Ender 3 Pro to switch it to a uh, belt continuous uh, printing uh, design, which I think would be uh, nice to do once I get my better printer so that it might... Uh, New or the old one has a little bit more versatile function as a result. Under. Under and over. Over and under. Under and over. Under. Under and over. Over and under. Under and over. Over and under. Under and over. Over and under. Under and over. Thank you. 
over and under. Under and over. Unfortunately, I seem to be developing a headache. So I was going to go a little bit longer, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night here. I've gotten over to where the last comer held in place, so it should keep this right under nice tension. Uh, is there anything either of you guys uh, need before I go? Okay, yep, I'm debating a Sunday afternoon one. Uh, I may spend most of the day working on my 3D printer. Uh, so I'll probably do a Monday night stream. Uh, you should be able to catch that one at a reasonable time. And uh, hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. Um, we will uh, meet back then again. And thank you for again for joining. I really appreciate it. And I hope it was fun and educational for you guys. We'll see you again on Monday. <laughs> <laughs>